The two parallel plates in this problem are separated by a distance d of 1.60 centimeters. The charged, I'll draw the positive plate on the bottom and the negative on the top, so there's a constant electric field between them. A proton is released from rest at the positive plate and accelerates striking the top plate after a time t that we're given in the problem statement. We're asked to find the electric field magnitude E. The force on the proton is in the upward direction with a magnitude equal to its charge times the electric field magnitude. That's constant, so the acceleration will be constant, and we can use this kinematic equation to solve for the acceleration. The proton starts from rest and travels a distance d so that the acceleration is 2d over t squared. Now if we come back to this force equation, the net force on it equals the proton's mass times its acceleration, and that's equal to its charge times the electric field. Solve this for the electric field magnitude to see that it equals twice the proton mass times the distance it travels divided by t squared e. We know all of those values, so we can substitute them and calculate, finding that the electric field between the plates has a magnitude of 32.6 newtons per coulomb. In part b, we're asked to find the proton's speed when it strikes the top plate. There are many ways to do this. One way is using the work kinetic energy theorem, which I'll show here. The work done by all forces equals the change in the proton's kinetic energy. The only force doing work on the proton is the electric force. It's charge times the electric field. And that force is parallel to the displacement. So the work is the force times the distance that it moves. That's d. And that's equal to the final kinetic energy minus the initial, which is zero. If we substitute the expression above for the electric field E, we get this result, which shows that the proton's charge and mass cancels from this equation, giving us a final velocity V after taking the square root of twice the distance D divided by the time T. That's twice the proton's average speed. And when you calculate, you find that the final speed is 1 times 10 to the 4th meters per second.